what? It's this fancy application-only cemetery, Green Acres Park. You have to apply to a cemetery? Mom's been obsessed with it for years. They just booted a few more of the Madoffs, so now we have a chance to get off the wait list. Very casually, not even as a pitch, I think, just mentioned that I'm being buried in the cemetery that we yeah. had to apply to. And they were like, sorry, what? And I said, <laughs> yeah, we got rejected from the cemetery oh and then God. Someone high profile wrote a letter for us and we like got in. As if getting into the right kindergarten weren't enough, now I have to get into the right worm buffet? And they were dying and they're like, this is our episode, is dying to get in. <laughs> My family's still pissed that we didn't put the Vaughn back into our name. We are in the doghouse. We're in the Maison du Chien? We. Oui. And it basically wrote itself. I remember it was like the fat you sh that thing out. And also, again, perfect symmetry. Comparison yeah. to the trying to get into the kindergartens and the desperation. As I was saying, our grounds hold some of the most legendary members of society. Heads of state, Barney uh, of Barneys. And that location we found was that is phenomenal. most beautiful with the actual room where the, where the interview takes oh, yeah, place well, and in, the exterior. And the mausoleum. I mean, I, it actually made me psyched to die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The shot of you <laughs> running in oh, yeah. from the subway to the cemetery is remains one of my most favorite um, really moments in the whole funny. season. So another thing we bonded over was drop-off parties and that we pray to the gods above when our kids are invited to um, a party that, they, that they're drop-off parties and how exciting it is that you have this tiny little window of time to drop your kid and go and have your life. Well, oh, Dad, love you. Have fun. Happy birthday, DJ. Thanks, Marissa. I'll see you in two hours. Uh, no, it's not drop-off. But then there is this questionable area. I had just had an experience where I thought it was a drop-off party. And I stupidly asked the mom over email and she said, You'll never do that no, again. in fact it isn't. And I got there and all these other people were leaving. <laughs> and I was like trying to tell them to stay. They had to stay because I had to stay. <laughs> and it was this very awkward gray area. Um, like, which am I worked. being punished or does right. she want my company? Just, I am happy to watch the twins. Uh, Henry's cousin taught him to whip it out last week, so I'm not going anywhere. Oh, you are a goddess among mortals. Can I give you myself? Anyway, we decided what a perfect moment to have you go to what you think is a drop-off party, and of course it's not, and you have to be at this important meeting and this, you know, child care versus marital test. Um, Application perfect, meeting. Uh, Flunked uh, both. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> When I was growing up, there was some shame around being rich. Now, at drop-off, they're like pimping cocaine white SUVs.